Manuel Matty Maroon was born in June of 1927. The billionaire businessman was born in Detroit to parents of Lebanese descent. He grew up on Detroit's east side with three sisters. His father ran two gas stations in Detroit where Matty worked before and during high school. Maroon attended the University of Detroit Jesuit High School, graduating in 1945. In 1946, his father bought Central Cartage Company, and Maroon started working with his father. During college, Maddie regularly commuted between the University of Notre Dame in South Bend, Indiana, and Detroit to help run the family business. He graduated in 1949 with a bachelor's degree in chemistry, physics, and biology. Maroon would buy the Ambassador Bridge in 1979 when shares came on the market, and that ownership helped him become a billionaire. But his life was not without controversy. In 2009, the Michigan Department of Transportation, MDOT, sued Maroon and the Detroit International Bridge Company for failing to comply with the terms of a contract to construct ramps connecting the Ambassador Bridge to nearby expressways as part of the Gateway Project. Then, in 2012, a judge ordered Maroon and a business partner to spend a night in jail for noncompliance. I love our country, best country in the world. <clears throat> I love my family. Be happy to be with them. After many court battles, the U.S. and Canadian governments agreed to build the Gordie Howe International Bridge, a bridge between Detroit and Windsor to be located downriver and to be funded entirely by the Canadian government. All tax revenues from tolls from the Gordie Howe Bridge are to be granted to Canada for the next 50 years after construction is completed. This is in contrast to the tolls collected on the Ambassador Bridge, which are subject to U.S. taxes and given to Detroit. Critics suggest that Maroon's opposition was fueled by the prospect of lost profits from duty-free gasoline sales at the bridge. Maroon also owned Michigan Central Station from 1995 until selling it to Ford Motor Company in 2018, now a showplace that will bring jobs and people to the Detroit area. Maroon and his family have faced criticism for failing to invest in the property over its years of ownership, leading to a significant amount of decay within the property and generally contributing to the urban blight character that enshrouded Detroit for much of the later part of the 20th century and early 21st century. But love him or not, no doubt he will be remembered as making a mark on Detroit history that will be talked about for years to come.